Our journey begins in the 13th century, a turbulent era for Japan. The mighty Mongol Empire under the command of Kublai Khan had set its sights on the islands of Japan. The Mongol fleets, massive and menacing, seemed poised to overwhelm the Japanese defenses. However, in a twist that seemed plucked from the very pages of a legend, nature intervened. Ferocious typhoons, now enshrined in history as the Divine Wind or Kamikaze, swept across the seas, decimating the invading fleets. Kami in all Japanese meant divine, coming from a god or deity, and Kazi meant wind. These storms were perceived as the gods' direct intervention, protecting the sacred land of Japan from foreign domination. The term kamikaze thus becomes synonymous with divine protection and miraculous salvation. Fast forward to the early 20th century and the world was once again engulfed in the flames of war. During World War II, Japan faced insurmountable odds as it struggled against the Allied forces. It was in this desperate context that the term kamikaze was resurrected. In the final grueling stages of the war, young Japanese pilots undertook suicide missions, crushing their explosive-laden planes into enemy ships in a desperate bid to hold the advancing Allied forces. These pilots, known as kamikaze, were seen as the embodiment of self-sacrifice and ultimate bravery, willing to give their lives for the defense of their homeland. The divine wind had transformed from a natural phenomenon into a human act of profound courage and tragedy.